So here are <coughs> parts and instructions for how to mount the encoder. So um, the encoder itself is here. Piece of electronics. Should go into a housing here. And there's a tool and everything to align it so that I can set it up on the block. And I have used this as a mounting block. It's pressed into ball bearings and I will mount this and there's a well this should sit like this on the other side and just a uh, cylindrical piece here which I will fasten with the grub screw here and then this will go into the hole used for the or in, in this case not used which normally then houses the um, back gear oh, sorry the, the tumbler reverse so I had a chance to show off my Arboga drill press I had to drill some extremely small holes 1.5 millimeter so I changed uh, the chuck over and I'm using the highest speed 2900 rpm just locate the holes Okay. I guess music is not allowed, really. Okay. the highest speed that is not really true I can this was uh, 1450 this is a very Nice piece of equipment, I think. The other boga comes in a variety of uh, variants. Mine is with an XY table. You can drill, well, very long slender pieces. Just move the head to its uppermost position where I have located it now. And then they uh, wound, wind the, um, the table down all the way to the floor. Or on the other hand, you can just move the table up and also the head down. Plus you have the, of course, the quite long quill here. And you can rotate the table around like this. Of course, XY table, you can then push it out to the side. So I think this is a very, very nice piece. I couldn't make a 2 mil thread, but I just bored it out to 1.8. So, and this is POM, so no problem. I can then, oops, mount this here. Okay, it should just be clamped into place. Hmm. 
There we go. So So just go and press this in here and fasten it with the grub screw there. Okay. That done. And then here. So that's seventy hertz. So that is um, roughly max speed two thousand. That was seventy hertz, roughly two thousand one, I guess. So here we are uh, about to do some soldering. It is not everyday practice that I wire up the old uh, soldering iron again, but I am a certified radio and TV repairman. So <laughs> I used to do this once upon a time from one ancient occupation that was into scraping another even older one, but well, well. Yeah, hopefully there's no flux here. Not the best, but it'll do.